Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to enable or disable mouse acceleration in Windows 10 or 11. And actually, you could probably go back to Windows 7 as well. What that does is allows you, when you move your mouse quickly for a few inches, it'll jump it across the screen for you automatically. So it's kind of neat. And if you ever watch any of my videos, you think I'm freaking out with my mouse. But uh, in reality, half the time I'm using mouse acceleration. It's on by default, so you don't have to worry about it. But if for some reason you notice that you do move your mouse quickly and you don't want it going across the screen, you can shut it off. And while you're there, there's a ton of other settings too. So let's take a look by getting into settings first. Why don't we do the Windows key plus S, it's the fastest way for me, and start typing in mouse and click on mouse settings. And of course you can do start settings, control panel, devices, mouse. That's how you get there if you want to click, click, click. All right, so we're here and as you can see, Windows 11 looks a little bit different. Additional mouse settings here. On Windows 10, it's additional mouse options here. That's going to bring up the control panel. You remember that. Nice thing about that is you'll notice there's only a handful of options for your mouse here. If you don't go over to this, all of a sudden you've got buttons, pointers, pointer options, wheel, hardware. Now you've got a ton of options. So let's take a look at the pointers tab right here. No pointer options tab next to pointers. That makes it look like I didn't make a mistake. Yeah. And here's your enhanced pointer precision right here. Now the nice thing about it is if you combine enhanced pointer precision with your pointer speed, for example, if you slow it down, you can kind of really tweak when the mouse jumps across the screen for you by maybe you want your mouse to go a little slower, a little faster, or if you do plan on using that pointer precision to jump your cursor across the screen, then you probably might want to slow down your mouse just a little bit. And that's it. It's pretty easy to do. But again, don't forget, as long as you're here, if you haven't seen it before, you might as well hang out for a few minutes, automatically move the pointer to the default button in the dialog box, pointer trails, hide it while typing, show the location when I press the control key, how many times you want it to scroll, icons, schemes, pointer shadows. I wonder if I like that. Let me see. It doesn't look like much, does it? Oh, barely see it. I don't think I ever bothered with it. Yeah, that's, a, that's not bad. You know what? I'm going to turn it on. There you go. What do I care? Buttons. Of course, you saw that in the beginning, switching buttons. Double click speed, almost as important as how fast you're scrolling. And click lock. Everything's explained, as you can see, in the boxes. And there you have it. Such a simple, short thing to explain to you. I figured I'd just go through everything while we're here. All sorts of stuff you can do. If you've never used it before, it's really great to get your mouse to work the way you want. Maybe in ways you didn't know it could work. Hopefully. Maybe. There you have it. You know the drill. Bottom right corner, subscribe. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.